you so much, Dorothy. Halloween trick-or-treating might be tons of fun for the whole family, but it's not necessarily the best time for our teeth. So joining us this morning, Dr. Charlie Serpak of the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry joins us in the studio to talk a little bit about some of the scary stuff that can happen that can linger after Halloween night. Thank you so much, Dr. Charlie. Good morning, thank you for inviting me here. So let's talk about these mouth monsters, these little scary creatures right here. What are they? Well, the mouth monsters are a vehicle for parents to talk about bad, bad things for the teeth. Um, American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, we have a website, mychildrensteeth.org, where we use the mouth monsters as a vehicle for communication, for talking to your children about what's good and what's bad for your teeth. And some of the bad things you say, Dr. Charlie, are these little things right here. Oh. Used to be one of my favorites growing up, mm -hmm. but how bad is too bad? Those are the worst. Those are the absolute worst. Sticky, icky candies with natural sugar are the worst for your teeth. They always cause cavities. Please don't eat those. Um, but there are good candies. And what about these? How bad Gummy are these? Gummy worms, same thing. If they don't change shape in water and they have sugar, <laughs> not good for you. Okay, they're sour and bad. And is this bad right here? That's sort of in, in between. Pretzels, uh, the bacteria in your mouth can process the pretzels and make cavities, but not as bad as the sticky ones. Okay, the sticky ones don't do those. I mean, I, I mean. Don't I, do those. Ever. I just told you in the commercial break, I opened up a box of dots this week. Oh started chomping on those. Of course, <laughs> at this age, I've got some fake ones up in there. I felt like, you know what, I can't eat the rest of them because mm -hmm. they might come out. Oh, you're these exactly things right. Will pull, these things will pull a, 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 an implant right out. They, they, will, they will pull your crowns off. <laughs> they will pull your implants out. Okay. And, and what about this one right here? Milk chocolate is actually not that bad. It's, it's, a, it's a good in-between candy for children. The best are right over there. This one right here. Dark Let's talk chocolate, about that one. Um, gum flavored or sweetened with xylitol. Both of these decrease the bacteria levels. They don't cause cavities. That's our preference as a dentist, But you please. know the kids want the stuff that's over there on your side, not the good stuff that's over here with me. Well, you know, that's what Halloween's about. It's about making choices. Okay. And we have a dialogue with our children about making healthy choices. We know these things cause holes in teeth. We know these things are better. That's what the mouth monsters are for. That's what the mouth they, monsters are they, for. They're going to tell you, you're going to, with your children, you're going to go, you have a choice. These are bad for your teeth. These aren't bad. And you're not saying don't do those at all, but just everything in moderation. You have to be very careful with sticky things because of the low dissolvability. The children will take it. The, the, the anatomy of their teeth are different, and it stays and stays and stays and stays. These, these uh, candies melt and clear. Um, they're they're the good ones. All right, Dr. Dr. Charlie, if people at home want more information about the mouth monsters and the conversation they should be having with their children, can you give them a website address oh, one more time? Oh, absolutely. Mychildrensteeth.org. Look for the mouth monsters. There's coloring pages. There's things to do with your children. Remember, melty is good. Sticky is bad. Sticky, sticky. Icky, mm -hmm. sticky. <laughs> Dr. Charlie, <laughs> thank you so much.